Hey guys, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I quickly define my hair using a curl sponge. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what this is. I'm just going to be showing you guys how I like to use it on my short hair. So I'm starting out with freshly washed hair and this is the only product I'm going to be putting in my hair. And I'm also going to be using some gel as well. So I'm just going to be taking that and I'm going to be um, massaging it into my hair. My hair is sort of damp. It's not completely dry. I think it's better to start off on, on damp hair because you get better results your hair just looks more like curly when you start with damp hair so after I'm done like putting down my hair I'm just going to be adding a bit of this eco styler um, black castor and flaxseed gel to my hair and I'm just going to make sure I fully like massage it into my hair and when I'm done doing that I'm just going to go ahead and comb out my hair just a little bit just for some height and then I'm going to take the curl sponge and I'm going to put this on my hair now a quick tip I learned is you don't want to put pressure on the sponge just put it on the surface literally on the surface of your hair let it barely touch your hair and then you want to start curling your hair you want to move only in one direction all throughout your head so I'm just using that sponge to um, activate my curls as you can see um, your hair can Kind of gets trapped into those little holes and it just creates this cute spiral curl that kind of look like finger coils it's just not as defined as finger coils but they look really really nice and this is really really fast it takes me like maybe five minutes to do like before I get out of the house it's super quick and I love 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 the results so as you can see I'm just going to be um rubbing that with my hair remember not to put pressure on it and I'm making sure to um do it in one direction all throughout my head After I'm done using the sponge, I like to use my fingers to just define any areas that the sponge didn't really get. And this is pretty much all it takes, guys. If you'd like me to compare these results to the ones I get from the Afro Twist comb, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!